Uh, hello! Um, what is up, YouTube? Uh, Steve here for video four, um, for this year. Um, pretty, pretty happy about that, you know, I mean, I'm not, not too happy. I feel like I skipped a few weeks, and again, that's not right, you know, so I'm, I guess I'm making this video today as a way of, um, as a way of trying to say, you know, that you guys are worth my time, and because you really are, you know, whoever watches this, you are, and I, I, I doubt I'm going to be able to make to uh, kind of um, make up for all the weeks I missed, but at least I could try to do an extra video for this week. So. I want to, I, but I really want to apologize for the last video that I made. Um, you know, if you saw it, and no one said anything. This is just the way I'm perceiving things because I'm me. But but if the video upset you in any way, if if you got anything the wrong message out of that video, I want to tell you that I'm sorry. I really mean that. I, I don't want to. I don't want to upset anyone with these videos. I'm not. Not that I'm saying anyone was upset or offended. I'm just saying if if that was the case at all. If if anyone got that feeling that they were offended or upset by it in any way or they didn't like it, I want to tell you that I'm sorry. It came from a place of very severe frustration for me, and it was it was a very difficult day for me. So. I just want to apologize for that. I, I felt maybe the best therapy would be for me to make a video. But I don't know if that panned out that way. So I, I, I just want to say I'm sorry for that if it didn't, if, if it gave you a very weird vibe at all. <laughs> okay, so, so with that being said, I really want to get on with the topic of the video. Um, this is something that I kind of hinted at in previous videos, but, um,. It's something that you can argue I've covered, you know, because I have talked about Asperger's a lot, and I've talked about Asperger's and loneliness specifically, but I really want to talk in depth about really what's really what's triggering my depression in a lot of ways. My, my depression doesn't boil down to just one thing. There were a lot of factors in how it started, and I've tried to touch upon all of them, but really... I think one of the biggest ones for me, I know my hair's a little messed up, fucking bad hair day, whatever. Um, I know I have zits, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> I'm sorry. But, uh, but anyway, um, but yeah, I really want to talk about Asperger's and friendships, or sustaining friendships, making friendships. I even want to, I, if, if I can find the time in this video, I even want to talk about finding love. If you're in Asperger's and being a, and having Asperger's, you know what I mean. When these are things that I'm not gonna really have any advice on, because these are all things I'm trying to figure out myself. But I want to talk about them because I feel like it's important that I shed some light on. Because most people don't have this the syndrome, so I want I really want to shed some light for the people who may be watching this, the majority of people who may be watching this who don't have this syndrome. And I want to really share this really, again, for the people who do have this syndrome, because you need to know you're not alone. You, you, that, 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 that's been the point of these since day one. I want you, and I'm, I may not have the best advice in this video, I, 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 you know, I can tell you that right now. Because, again, this is all stuff I'm trying to figure out too. But I can at least make you feel like you're not alone. I can at least make people... Who again don't have the syndrome? Maybe understand a little bit better what it's like to be like this, wired like this, you know. So Asperger's and friendships, okay. Well, for me being an as, for me having that syndrome, um, it's very difficult for me to make friends. It's it's. It's very, very difficult. Very difficult. Because um, you can't. Con you have difficulty when you're when you're at, when you're an Asperger. 
At least I think that's, or it has to be, well, whatever the right terminology is. Uh, you really have a difficulty making conversation, and that's, it's just, it just sucks, really. I, I, I hate to put it like that, but can't really make good conversation. It's very difficult to do that. Very, very difficult. And as a result, you, you can't make friends that easily. And even if you do make friends, even if you can make friends that easily, so sometimes I do make friends easily, but a lot of times I don't. But when I do make friends, especially and I know I noticed this a lot when I made friends at work when I was working at my college. Um, yes, I did go to college. <laughs> okay, uh, in case you didn't know that. Um, and um, but yeah, I uh, I noticed this when I was working at my college, and I. Um, and especially recently, after I made the first video, when so many people, you know, talked to me about it, and, you know, people who I hadn't spoken to in years. Okay, most of those people aren't talking to me anymore, or they're not, they're probably not watching this, which is okay too. You know, it's, it's, they're completely within their rights to, to do whatever they want, to, to be a part of this or not, or to be a part of my life or not. It's completely up to the individual. But, but yeah, most of those people aren't watching this probably, or they're not talking to me, and that's okay too. But, I, the point that I'm trying to make is that that was like the first, not the first time, but that was like, I, I had a lot of friends when I was working at my college, and I, had a, and I gained a lot of support after I made that video, when I first started this, and... I guess what I'm trying to say is, or trying to ask you, is really why do you think that died down? Because I can't sustain this stuff that well. I can't sustain friendships that well. I don't know how to keep in touch with people that well. And that's very problematic for me because, you know, I, I just don't know how people do these things. I just don't know. I wish I had advice for you today if, if you're struggling with that. I really do. I, I wish I could tell you. How to keep in touch with people. I wish I could tell you how to make friends. I wish I could tell you all that, but I can't. I can't. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. And I've lost a lot of friends. I mean, there's still like a few people who I... Maybe two or three people who I... Well, more than two or three. But there's still a few, pe a few people from my high school that I talk to a lot. Or I've become very close with. But... I'm not very good at keeping in touch. Keep keeping in touch. <laughs> keeping in touch with people at all. I'm really not good at that, and that sucks because then people, you know, I guess you could call them neurotypicals. They, I guess that's the right word. They um, they keep in touch a lot, and they 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 hang out a lot. They talk a lot. They text a lot. They do all these things. They do they all these fun great things that that if you if you have Asperger's like me you, you just can't do. Not, well, not that you can't do. It's just it's very difficult. You're not wired that way, and I've said that in, I kind of said that in the last video that you're just not wired that way. But it's just very challenging. Um, I, I, I wish I knew what more I could say on that. It's just, it would be great if I had some advice, but again, these are things I'm trying to learn myself. I'm trying to learn how to keep in touch with people better. I'm trying to learn not to feel awkward about that. I'm trying to learn to to make friends better, much easier. I'm trying to learn these things, and it's, it's really difficult. But I want you to know that you're not alone. And... And I struggle with this stuff too. And, you know, I, I I wish I could be like everyone else. I wish I knew what to, I wish I knew what normal conversation was. <laughs> I wish I knew what to text people about. I wish I knew what to call them about. I, I really wish I knew these things, but I don't. You know, and part of the thing is that for if I text you, if I call you, 
Okay, if I want to talk to you, I really have to feel comfortable with you. It's just the way it is with people. It's just, it's just the way people like me, I guess, are wired. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but that, that's really what I feel, you know. I, I just, I, I have to really feel comfortable. I really have to feel like you get it. You know, not a lot of people these days do get it, because it's not even their fault. It's just the way things are. People are a little informed of the syndrome. And that's why I get depressed a lot. I've been struggling a lot lately. I've been thinking of going back to therapy. I probably will. Maybe not right away, but... Uh, I probably will, and... Because I'm just... I'm just... I'm just not in a good place with this, you know? I think I need some help, you know, but I wish I knew what more I could say. I feel like I'm talking about myself too much, but but the other thing that I wanted to touch upon, this is very difficult for me to talk about, but I really want to talk about Asperger's and finding love. Um, I, want, I, want, I really want to tell you something very personal about me. And something that I've been hesitant to go into detail about, and I really, I really am sorry for that. These videos were built on honesty and me being myself, and if I don't deliver that, then there's no point in this. So I'm just going to come out and say how I feel about this, and really how my syndrome has really affected me in this regard. Because it's, it's very horrible, the way it has. Um... I've said this in numerous videos, but I'll reiterate it. I'm 24 years old. I turn 25 next month. Now, I, I, I don't want to go too much into this, but... You know, I, I know people my age, some of them, they're, they're, you know, they, 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 they're in relationships, or they're getting married, or they're just... They're doing these things, right? I'm not going to go into... I'm not going to go into a crazy thing with this. But I'm 25. I'm, well, I'm going on 25, and I, uh, I'm, I'm single. I've always been single. Um, never had a girlfriend. Um, never had a relationship. So yes, yeah, certain things haven't happened. I haven't been kissed. I haven't. This is really weird saying this on camera. Um. None of these things have happened. No. Uh, that's that's okay, I guess, but no one's really pressuring me into to get on into really getting into that, but to getting into a, into getting a relationship, but no one's pressuring me really, but that's okay too. And then, you know, you know, it's very because. They're just not, and that's good, and that's a good thing, you know, I kind of need people who are laid back in my life, <laughs> but, and yeah, I just, I, I worry about these things, because, because, you know, I mean, I just do, and, uh, this isn't a good video. I don't know. I just I worry about these things, you know. And I don't want. To, I, I've said this numerous times. I don't want to die alone. I really don't want that for myself. It wouldn't be right. It wouldn't. Well, maybe I don't know if it wouldn't be right, but but like I even said in the previous video, even though that was a fucking shitty video, I was given certain qualities. And it just, it depresses me that I can't do anything with them. That's, again, I'm not, I don't know, there, there are people who claim I'm good looking, which is fine. Uh, I don't necessarily see it, um, but fine, you think that way, that's fine, I won't challenge you. Um, there's people who claim I'm very nice or whatever. That's fine too. I won't challenge you there either. Um, you know, or that I, or that I have other qualities. You know, like I'm smart, or I'm, 
I'm funny or I'm old or I'm whatever, right? Which you wouldn't know by me doing these videos, but but what I'm trying to say is that I have these qualities, redeeming qualities, and I can't utilize them. I can't use them in a way where it's in a certain way. And that just depresses me. You know, I don't know how else to put it really. I don't know what the right words are, but it just it just depresses me that I I was given some good qualities. Maybe maybe some more qualities that I'm not really picking up on right now, but I'm not trying to sound arrogant, but what I'm trying to say is that, you know, it's it's like it's like I was given these qualities and there's it's just just they could have been given to somebody else who really needed them. You know what I mean? They, they could have been given to someone else who needed them, but instead he gave them to me. You know? And really what I'm trying to say is that... You know, you know things would be very different. But here's the thing. Things would be very different if I didn't have the syndrome. But here's the thing. Like, I... Because, again, I'm, I'm not... I feel like this is a very bad video because I keep stammering and I don't know what to say, but... But, you know, I again, I'm not very good at talking to people. I'm not very good at conversing. Um, so, I don't know how to say certain things. Like, you know, uh, I don't know, I, I don't, like, like I kind of said in the last video, again, shitty video, but... Very shitty video, but you know, I uh, I kind of hinted at this. Like, I don't I don't know how to I don't know when the right time is to to, to ask a girl out or really how you ask that. I don't know how that works exactly. I don't even know what people do on dates, which is pretty fucking bad on my part. Um, God, that's that's so terrible on my part, but. But yeah, the, these are the problems that I face because I'm so socially challenged. I don't know what people do. Uh, I, I know what they don't do generally, but I, I don't really know what they do. Okay. I don't know when they go about these things. I don't know how they go about these things. I don't know what they say. I, I just don't know any of this. Because I'm, I'm, I'm wired differently. I'm, and I'm not... I have Asperger's. I, I just like, I don't know what the right. I don't know how to say it. You know, just this is my reality. You know, and so I face that. But and again, and the other thing is that, you know, I mean, I I may know how I feel about certain girls, which is fine. You know, every, everyone. Is entitled to their feelings, but I don't know how certain people. I don't know how certain girls may feel about me, because I can't tell. You understand? Like I, this is another thing with Asperger's. You can't really read. You can't always read certain things that well. You just it's hard to get a sense of things. So it's hard to say whether or not someone's just being super fucking friendly. Or they actually want something more. That's... I feel very weird talking about this on camera, but I feel like I have to. Um, but that's something I face, you know? I can't tell these things. So I, I just fuck off. Which is probably not good either. You know? Again, th this is something I don't really have any advice on, because I, I just don't want to steer you the wrong way. And again, this is something that I really need to fucking figure out. But I just want you to know that you're not alone if you're struggling with that. If you're struggling, if you have my condition, and you're struggling to find a girlfriend, or you're struggling to, to really know what the fuck to do, you're not alone on that at all. You know, um. It's just sad, you know? Sad because you know, I feel like I'm being arrogant by saying this, but like again, I don't think I'm that good-looking. But some people 
some people do say that to me. You know. And And again, I you know because I'm not that bad looking, chances are girls can like me and I'll never fucking know it. You know, and that doesn't even hurt me, it's just it hurts the other person really. So I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I just, I just wanted to get this out there today. You know, I, I hope you get something out of this video. You know, I, I don't know if this was a good video or not, but because uh, I don't have any advice for you, I, I want to be able to give you advice. But I really felt I needed to get this off my chest. I really felt like, I, I hope I was able to articulate Asperger's again in a way that maybe people will understand who don't have it. Um, I hope. That if you do have it, maybe you, you know, maybe you realize you're not so crazy after all. This is not crazy if you, if you have this syndrome. This is not crazy. You're not crazy. You're just born with something that socially cripples you in some respects. I don't know if that's the right word, but in some ways you you you, you have a bit of a crutch, you know. And, but I haven't given up hope. You know, I I still have friends. I haven't given up hope. Um, I'm sure I have faith that the right person will come around. So don't lose that, okay? Don't don't lose that. You're gonna find somebody who loves you, and. It doesn't mind you. Okay. <sighs> I, I thought I could do this video without crying. Alright. I'm going to stop the video here, okay? Be good. Take care of yourself, okay? And I hope you'll be alright. I hope. I wish you the best, okay? I hope you everything's going to be okay for you. Alright. Just take care of yourself. Goodbye.